Very good afternoon to all my dear children. Welcome to all on behalf of e Sikhya Sanjab, Kendra Pada District, Kendra Pada. First of all, I express my deep sense of gratitude to the Honorable Dio Sir for introducing such an innovative program for the academic progress of the students during COVID-19 pandemic situation. I also extend my heartfelt gratitude to my reverend ADO ma'ams, officials, personnel and nine, nine nodal headmasters of different blocks for associated and coordinating for the success of, of this program. Dear students, today we will discuss a very good poem, nine gold medal of skills of communicative English class 9. Before that, I would like to introduce myself. I am Puspita Vari, assistant teacher, Chitrapala Government Girls High School, Kurwa, Gordakur Block. Dear students, we have learned first two stanzas. In my last class, I hope you have completed all the activities assigned to you. Now, we will try to recall what we have learned in my previous class. For your better progress, okay, dear students, can you tell me who came from all over the country? Okay, tell me who came from all over the country? The nine athletes, they came, the athletes, they came from all over the country. The next question is, what did the athletes run for? The athletes run for the medals, the gold, silver and bronze. The medals are made of gold, bronze, silver and bronze. Okay. The next question is, what did the athletes attend for many weeks and months? The athletes uh, trained themselves for many weeks and months in order to attend the Special Olympic game. The, who had gathered to cheer the athletes? Obviously, the spectators gathered to cheer the athletes. Okay, we all are aware about the above all questions. Now, we will recall what we have learned in my previous portion of the poem, the nine gold medal. In the first stanza, the poet highlights how athletes from all over the country, they had come for the medals. They were, there were three kinds of medals such as gold, silver and bronze. They had attended for training before, they had attended for long training before the before this event. The motto of this event is to participate, not to win. According to the poet, the poet highlights a great message to the humanity. <coughs> Today's age is the age of competition. Here the poem highlights, if, despite of these competitions, the, some sort of humanity arises. The second stanza is about the spectators. They are assembled around the whole field to witness the running race and cheer the young athletes. The final event of the day was drawing nearer. This is on, and the spectators, they are highly excited. They were highly excited because the final match was, the final day was drawing nearer. Which, this is all about your first and second stanza, which we have learned in my last class. Okay, I am going to recite the poem first and fourth stanza of the poem Nine Gold Medal. Now, close your book and listen to me attentively. The blocks we are all lined up, who, the blocks we are, the blocks we are all lined up, who you, so who you used to, who would use them, the hundred year dash and the race to run, to be run. These were nine regional athletes in the back of the starting line, poised for the sound of the gun. The first stanza is, the signal was given, the pistol exploded and so did the runners all charging high. But the smallest one among them, he stumbled and staggered and fell to the asphalt around in his state. The third stanza, I again recite the poem. 
Please open your book and listen to me attentively. The blocks were all in lined up for the for those who would use them. The hundred yard dash and the race to be run. There were nine regional athletes in the back of the starting line, poised for the sound of the gun. The blocks. What do you mean by blocks? Do you know there are in our district there are nine blocks. Here is not this sort of blocks. The blocks means whenever you go to the running days in your school field, in your school field, one is starting point, another one is finishing point. That is the blocks where two starting blocks on the ground that runners push their feet against at the beginning of the race. That is the starting line. The runners put their feet in in order to push the feet. Against the beginning of the race. That is the blocks. The blocks we are all lined up. Means the blocks we are they are in a line. Who are you? Those are those who used to them. Who would use them? Means those who are the part who participated in this running race, the hundred yard race. Thus, they are starting. They, they are standing in a line. The hundred yard dash and the race to be run. The hundred yard, hundred do you know? A digit yard means a unit of linear measure equal to three p is equal to zero point nine one four four meter. And hundred yard dash, dash means run. The competition is made for running this. The special Olympics is made for running this. How long running this? It is hundred yard yard dash. Hundred yard dash. It is. Hundred and the race to be run. The final event, sorry, the there were the nine regional athletes. There were were nine regional athletes. What do you mean by regional? They were determined. Who were determined? The athletes who came from all over the country. They were regional. They were regional in the back of the starting line. They were ready. They were poised for the sound of the gun. Means they are very ready for the signal which come from the gun. Gun, do you know? Gun means pistol. The sound of the gun. And the fourth stanza is the signal was given. Signal means sign. The pistol exploded. Pistol means a small gun that you hold in one hand. That is exploded means to burst with a loud noise. Noise. In our school field, we use whistle in order by our physical education teacher. He gave him a starting mark, a signal by the help of a pitch or whistle. Here the signal was given and the pistol exploded. When the pistol was exploded, when the pistol was exploded. And so did the runners all charging hand. All the blocks they lined up, they're ready to run. So all the runners they're charging ahead. Charging ahead means to take an action quickly. Who will win the match? Who will win the this way? They will take an action. They take an action quickly. But the smallest, the smallest means among the nine athletes, the smallest one. He stumbled. What do you mean by stumbled? He hit his feet against something when he began to run and play. It is a very sad thing. The smallest one, he stumbled in the field. He stumbled. Means he hit his feet against something. Means I mean, that is a very good thing. He is a very good thing. He is a very good player. He is a very good player. Stagger. Lost balance. Whenever, but in our country, when the athletes are playing in the field, they are pushing each other and when a wool fell down, they did not look at them. But in this special Olympics, the nine different level athletes participated. They have empathy for each other. This poem lessons us how to give love, affection, co-empathy, coordination, manhood, all these things we learn from this poem. That is the sense when he staggered, when the smallest athlete staggered, he fell into the asphalt in field. Asphalt means sticky black substance like coal tar. Sticky black stuff substance like coal tar. The smallest athlete among the nine original athletes, the smallest athlete fell to the ground and he cried in the deep anguish. This is all about your third and fourth 
stanza. Let us so now you read the poem silently. I will ask you some small questions to learn about your understanding. Okay? Read silently. Okay? Dear students, you must have understand these two stanzas. You must have well versed with these two stanzas. I am going to ask some simple questions. Please tell me. The first question is, what we are all lined up? First question is, what we are all lined up? The blocks, we are all lined up. The next question is, what was the event? The event was a running this, uh, a hundred yard dash. The next question is, how many athletes we are there? Okay, tell me how many athletes were there. Okay, tell me. There we are nine athletes. Very good. The next question is which work says that the athletes have taken prim decision to win the medal? That is result. The word is used in this poem result. The next question is what who are those nine athletes? Where were those nine athletes? At the back of the starting line. Those nine athletes were at the back of the starting line. The next question is, what were they poised for? Okay, tell me. What were they poised for? They poised for the, they poised for the sound of the gun. But they poised for the sound of the gun. Why was the pistol exploded? The pistol was exploded to give signals to the athletes. The next question is, what did the runners do? The runners charged ahead. When the pistol exploded, the runners charged ahead. The next question is, why, are they, why was he unable to fall? Because he stumbled and staggered in the he stumbled and staggered, so he was unable to run. Who among the nine athletes was able to run? The smallest. The smallest one was able to run. Where did he fall? He fell to the asphalt. He fell to the asphalt. Why did he fail, fall? Now to hit his feet against something and lost his balance. He hit his feet against something and lost his balance. Okay? You are well versed in this, uh, all the above uh, questions. Now, I am asked some simple questions to answer it. Next, column A with B. Column A consists of result, staggered, poised, awkward, exposed. The Column B consists of ready, sounded, lost balance, determined to place. Result means determined. Staggered means lost balance. Poised means ready. Awkward means took place. Exploded means sounded. Exploded means sounded. Write T for true and F for false. The blocks we are all lined up for those who use them. This is absolutely true. The excitement grew high to begin as the running of the race started. The false. The runners charge ahead as the pistol exploded. True. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate words. He gave out a cry in dash and dash in the anguish. His dash and dash all is a Dash and dash, all dashed in the back. Now, I assign you some homework to practice it for your better future. The question is, write down five lines about Rio Olympics. Write down five lines about Rio Olympics. This is all about my second and third stanza. Sorry, third and fourth stanza. Okay, thanks to all for your kind cooperation. Uh, and patience to listen my transaction till end. Thanks again. Thanks to all.
for your kind cooperation. Thanks.